I don't know. Let's try this again. I like stuff, you like stuff, we all like stuff. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you for tuning in. I have in front of me uh, essential oil kit. A Discover Essential Oils Kit. If you're new to essential oils, these four fragrances are a great place to start. As you can see, we have eucalyptus, lavender, peppermint, and tea tree. Okay, and they all smell different. They all have different properties. They all do different things. Let's take a look at the back real quick and just kind of see what we're getting ourselves into. It says that these are pure essential oils. They're authentically verified. They're not synthetic and they're not tested on animals. Okay, so um, pretty cool stuff. The most important thing, obviously, is that it smells good. So uh, what you're going to do when it's time is you're going to open the tops. And... And I'm most curious to check out the eucalyptus. I love the eucalyptus. I go to the gym and I, I use the sauna. Um, and sometimes people will bring the eucalyptus and they will just kind of sprinkle a couple dabs on the radiator and it will permeate through the, uh, the sauna area and all that smelly sweat will go away because this will overpower so this is a great natural deodorant it kind of um i don't know it's difficult to describe how it smells it um i don't know oh I, I smell it already it's just coming out it's like it kind of smells like um i'm gonna say blue because the top is blue that just influenced me subconsciously. Um, it's very clean. It's very pure. It's very airy. It's very... At the same time, it's strong. It is It is a masculine scent, in my opinion. Maybe because I link it to uh, the gym and workouts. But um, that's great. This particular top, I noticed that all the essential oil companies kind of have this particular top. And it's it's kind of a, a pain because you'll flip it over and uh, it'll take, if you don't, you have to, it's like Heinz ketchup a little bit. It's like good things to come to people who wait. Um, you got to get at just at the right angle um, so that it, it drops out properly. But that's obviously, they put this top so that uh, it comes out just in little increments because you don't want to waste the entire bottle, um, you know, a, a little bit goes a long way is what I'm trying to say. So um, that's the eucalyptus. Um, th there's also lavender. Lavender is very relaxing. It's more of a feminine scent in my opinion. Um, but if you're trying to go to sleep, even if you're a guy, you should give it a try. Um, peppermint. <laughs> I didn't really know what to say about peppermint before I made this video, so I did a little bit of research. It turns out that peppermint, like the candy that you get at the diner before you leave, is uh, has a benefit uh, of, for people who have a, a irritable bowel syndrome. So I'm not exactly sure what kind of effects that would have when you smell it, but that is an additional benefit uh, besides the fact that it smells kind of like a little piece of candy. Um, the tea tree oil, I have tea tree deodorant and it's a very clean, fresh scent. Um, it's kind of neutral. It's not masculine. It's not feminine. Actually, I would probably say that it's more on the masculine side, um, but it is a very uh, detoxifying scent. So uh, if you're trying to clean up the smells in the room and you don't want them to have an odor necessarily like just say for instance like something's funky in the room and you're like man how can i neutralize this um and you don't want it to smell like lavender you don't want it to smell like peppermint you don't want it to smell like eucalyptus probably tea tree is a good way to go and we just kind of clean up the room and not be too uh, flamboyant or too colorful in the scent of the room it's just going to kind of neutralize the room uh, so that's what tea tree is is used for, in my opinion. So um, I made a video early 
I made a video earlier about uh, a new essential oil diffuser that I got. I was really excited about. It's important to note that you know all these diffusers, as far as I know, they don't really come with the oils. So you're gonna have to buy oils at some point. Um, you know whether it's uh, you're new to essential oils and you just had you just bought a diffuser, um, you should buy this maybe. Or if it's time for a refill and you're looking for some uh, some different options uh, this is a nice little pack um, like I said that gives you some variety it's not just all one thing and consequently um, you know when you, you when you're mixing the different oils into the diffuser you don't have to just stick to one you know I mean you can be pure I guess you know just to kind of get uh, some knowledge of what the scents actually smell like. Maybe your very first time, you should just do 100% eucalyptus, 100% lavender, and so forth. But once you kind of, you know, get a vibe for what each particular fragrance smells like, do not be afraid to mix and match. Ladies and gentlemen, I love making a different combination every time, almost like how I add spices to food. You never know, or, or mix an alcoholic drink. You never know what you're going to get. That's kind of, that's the fun of it right there for me. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. Give this video a like, a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you found this useful and entertaining. Tell your friends. Thanks for tuning in and being a part of the Stuff Zone. Check out my other videos. I talk about a lot of stuff. Okay? See you in the next one.